Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and today is One Ounce Wednesday. On One Ounce Wednesday, I take a sample that I've received from a friend or a patron or a viewer or a distiller. Heck, it could come from anywhere. I take that sample and I pour it in a glass, and then we do what we do best. We review it world class. Everyone seemed to enjoy last Wednesday where I did the One Ounce Wednesday blind. So guess what? You spoke, I listened, we're gonna continue the Blind One Ounce Wednesday. I'm gonna grab a sample out of this box, I'm gonna pour it, and then we'll review it and score it. Got one. Look at it go. Look at the SJ on this guy. So fast. Ain't no money, don't black me. I spin so fast, so clean, so fast and so clean, clean. Let's go for a nose. Ooh. Booker's, Knob Creek, Jim Beam, Heaven Hill, Jim Beam, Heaven Hill, Booker's. This is a nutty bugger. This is a nutty bugger. It immediately reminded me of a Jim Beam or Heaven Hill product, but mostly Jim Beam. It's got the sweet peanut has a sweet peanut. This box is full. There's probably like, I don't know, 50 or so samples in there. It is a full box. I know that at least one of them is a Booker's and I'm guessing this is what this is. There is a little bit of orange, a little bit of peanut oil, a little bit of bread, a little bit of a bread factory, little corn bread, little peanut oil, a little bit of orange citrus. I do like the nose of this. This reminds me of a Booker's, but this reminds me of a good Booker's. It smells like if a candy factory and a bread factory got it on, and then after their refactory period, they got it on again, and again, and again, and again, until they reproduced something that was like this, you know. Let's go in for a sip on this One Ounce Wednesday. That's a no-look left hand from Anderson Silva, directly to my mouth. First sip of whiskey for the day, packs a punch. Wow. It is nicely oily, it is very viscous. The ethanol is coming through heavy, but that's probably because it was my first sip. The nose carries directly over to the palate, that cornbread, sweet peanut, and a little bit of baking spice on the back of the palate continue in the finish. The nose and the palate are very, very similar. I'm still thinking this is probably a Booker's. I like this. I like this. For a nutty profiled bourbon, it's bright. It's got a little bit of red fruit on it, but not much. It does shift a little bit in the mid palate from a nutty oily profile to a little bit more of a spice on the back end. If this is a Booker's, then I would say this is a little bit more complex than most Booker's I'm used to. This is acting like a Booker's bourbon trying to be an Elijah Craig barrel proof, if that makes sense. A little bit of creaminess on the back of the palate that goes into the finish. The viscosity of this bourbon is tremendous. I do like the viscosity a lot. I really like this, and if I don't have a bottle of this, I will get one. Unless, of course, it's a Booker's and they want $130 for it. In which case, no. Don't want one that bad. But I'd probably pay 90 bucks for this bottle. Whatever it is, 90 bucks. Today on this One Ounce Wednesday, I score this mystery pour a score of... It's very good. It's a very good bourbon. Ah, uh, 7 point... 8. 7 point 8... Very good bourbon, I like this a lot. Let's see what the heck it is. You already know what I'm drinking, but I don't. Today on One Ounce Wednesday, we were tasting Booker's 2021-02 from Bill Cavanaugh. Thank you, Mr. Cavanaugh, again for a sample. 127.9 proof, six years, five months, 2021-02 Booker's. That's probably my favorite Booker's I've had in a very long time. Obviously, I could tell what it was based off of the nose and then even more reinforced when I tasted it. But the palate, the viscosity, that actually pushed it over the top for a Booker's. I really enjoyed this one. 
when I first smelled it and thought Booker's, I was a little disappointed. I was like, oh crap, because I'm not a huge fan of Booker's. I'm not, but this one was knocking on the door of greatness. It's a very good bourbon. Booker's 202102, if you're a Booker's fan, this one's for you. Thank you for watching. This was another mystery one ounce Wednesday. I love you all so much. Hit the subscribe button or you will get shat on by a bird. Hit the subscribe button or a bird will defecate on your forehead. Hit the subscribe button or you'll get a parking ticket tomorrow. Leave a comment down below. 202102 Booker's, have you had it? And if you don't feel like doing that, at least just hit the thumbs up. Give me a like because I like you and you should like me back. It's just what friends do.